Welcome to the My Ticket Screen version 9.3 Enhancements of Group Link's Everything Help Desk. This video will apply to all versions of Everything Help Desk version 9.3 or above. In this video you will learn about a few of the options that have been changed in the My Ticket screen. To begin, let's go ahead and log in to the Help Desk. Here we are on the login screen. To start out with, I'm going to log in as a technician to show you the changes to the My Ticket screen. For those of you who are familiar with the My Ticket screen, you'll notice one minor change, and that is the removal of the home icon. On the top bar here, there are different icons that you can click to view different parts of the help desk. For example, create new ticket, ticket search, ticket filters, etc. One thing to take note of is the home icon is missing from this screen. In version 9.3 and above, this has been removed. The My Ticket screen is now the home page. The My Ticket screen logically lends itself to being the home page with the fact that that is where you submit tickets, assign tickets, open tickets, look at all of the tickets that are assigned to you, all the tickets that are owned by you, etc. Another item to take note of on the enhanced My Ticket screen is the quick search. In previous versions of Everything Help Desk, this box was used just to search ticket ID numbers. So if I go over to the IT group, and you notice there's quite a number of ticket numbers. If I wanted to just find that ticket number, I could click the ticket ID search, type in the ticket number, and be able to pull up that ticket. The functionality of this box has been increased greatly. Instead of being just a ticket ID search, it is now a quick ticket search. In this box, you are now able to search for tickets based on location, group, category, category option, subject, note, history subject, and history note. Any one of these fields can be searched on in this box. This should greatly enhance the usability of Everything Help Desk in your organization. To start out with, I'm going to just show you a few examples of this. I am going to do a search for all tickets in the location of district offices. So I am going to type in the location of district offices in the search box. One thing to take note of is this does need to be spelled correctly for the search to work. Then go ahead and hit enter and you will see a list of tickets. These tickets pull up with the subject and the history note displayed. Think of this as a Google-like search in the sense that it will display tickets based on relevancy of what you have typed. It will also organize them by ticket number as you can see here, but it's first and foremost by relevancy and then by ticket. From this results list you can click on the ticket, directly open that up, and you'll be able to see this ticket is in the district offices and go into this ticket and work on it from here. You can see other tickets in the district offices as well. Now this feature of the quick search is in addition to the ticket search. In this video, I am not going to discuss the ticket search, as there is another video that discusses that. However, be aware that the ticket search is there and has many powerful ways for you to search for a ticket. Now I'm going to show you a couple of other items that you can search for. Let's just do two other examples. From here, I will do a search for a subject. Let's type in, let's say you want to see information about resetting a username and password. So now I typed in reset username. Now what this has done is it has searched both the subject and the history note for reset username and password. Look at the number of results from reset username and password. It is obvious from this results list that this organization needs some training on resetting username and password. Go ahead and click on one of these tickets there and you'll be able to pull that up. Look at the information about that ticket. And of course you can close the ticket from here change the priority, um, do all things that you can normally do from the ticket. Now, one thing to take note of, this is just a quick ticket search. If you need to search more in-depthly, feel free to use the ticket search up here above, as I mentioned before. One other last example that we will use is, let's go ahead and search for category option. Let's try exchange. Now you'll notice that it pulled up all results for exchange, both for subject and notes. However, this also did a search by clicking on there of the category option of exchange. 
it's searching all fields in here so it will search everything that is available to search and it will pull up the most relevant items that's a brief overview of the quick ticket search just take note that this is a quick and easy way for you to find tickets with one field and to bring up a list of tickets in a quick and easy manner. The functionality of being able to type in a ticket number also works, as in previous versions. Take for example on this list you see ticket number 76. If you know the ticket number and you just type in 76 as the ticket number, it will pull right up. You can open the ticket by clicking on it there. So you still can use that field for the ticket ID search by searching just for a ticket number. However, you do have the increased functionality of searching location, group, category, category option, subject, note, history subject, and history note. One item to take note of, for that functionality to work, you will have to log into the system admin at the beginning type in application configuration and do search indexing. This is going to index all of your tickets so that the new quick ticket search can find those tickets. All you have to do is hit search indexing, re-index tickets. This does have to be done by your system admin, so take note of that. I'm going to log back in as the technician to show you a couple of other things that that is exciting about this latest release of Everything Help Desk. In previous versions of Everything Help Desk, we had added the mass update functionality. When adding the mass update functionality, you were able to export tickets in groups. For example, if you had many issues that had to do with email, you could pull up a filter, show all of those tickets with email issues, and mass export those tickets to a PDF or an Excel. However, now what we have done is on the My Ticket screen, you can actually select certain tickets. All you need to do is hold the control down, key down and select the tickets, and you'll notice that they are being highlighted. You can also do it with the Shift key and highlight a group of tickets that way as well by holding down the Shift key. I'm going to go ahead and do the control just to show you this. So I'm going to select ticket number one that has to do with groupwise and then ticket number 65 that has to do with groupwise then scroll down a little further find another one that has to do with groupwise okay there's number 168 so now I've selected three tickets that have to do with groupwise now that I have selected all of those tickets all I need to do is come up here to export go down to selected export those selected tickets to PDF and now it will pull up another screen with all of those tickets organized the way that your My Ticket screen is organized. You'll notice that there are three tickets, the different contacts, the category, option, the priority, etc. One other thing to take note of is that you still have the functionality of exporting all tickets in your list, which was in previous versions of Everything Help Desk. Now that we are discussing exporting tickets as PDF, I'm going to show you one other enhancement in Everything Help Desk version 9.3. To do this, I'm going to open up a ticket here and I'm going to hit the PDF icon. As you may be aware, in previous versions of Everything Help Desk, you can export a ticket to a PDF. With version 9.3, there has been a small enhancement to this. By clicking the PDF, you see that a ticket pulls up very quickly in a PDF format. Now from here you can print this ticket, you can save it, you can do what you need to with this ticket. One thing to take note of is the enhancement is this ticket audit. Now everything that has been done with the ticket from being created to status changes to other items in the audit will now show on the PDF. This concludes the information about the latest release of Everything Help Desk version 9.3. If you would like more information about the My Ticket screen, or about Everything Help Desk in general, please feel free to contact us at info at grouplink.net or call us at 801-335-0700.